Hi, I'm Jeff Hirsch. I'm here at Traders Expo Chicago with Andy Waldock. He's the founder, owner of WaldockTrading.com, right? Dot com. Yes, sir. And uh, you've got some new indicators for the COT report. First, just quickly explain what the COT report is to the uninitiated. The Commitment to Traders report comes out weekly. It's produced by the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, and it gives the largest traders breakdowns of their positions within a given market. So we know how anxious the commercial or, or the uh, producers or processors are to buy a, buy a known commodity. Known as the commercials. Known as the commercials relative to the large speculators who are the CTAs and the large trend following companies. And then you got this, but the small, small specs. Small specs, but they're too, they, they, while they can provide good signals, their moves are too erratic to be consistent. Okay, thank you. So, what are these new indicators that you've been putting out at uh, your site? And for the people? biggest difference with, the, with our adaptation of the Commitment to Traders report is that Every market has different idiosyncrasies that nobody knows unless you've been studying them for 20 years. So we've taken the Commitment to Traders report and broken it out into a way that any layman can understand it via, uh, first of all, the COT ratio, which will tell us initially how long or short a given group is, say they're long five to one or short seven to one, whatever they are. Mm -hmm. And we use that for our first tell of imbalance. The second point is we keep a rolling list of their, uh, we keep track of their rolling one and five year highs, net position highs right. and lows. So we want to know if they're buying or selling has reached a new high or new low. And finally, the biggest thing is we move to the standard deviation of the distribution of last week's move relative to their average relative move. Relative to the average. So we know that if the, com if the commercial traders were really active this last week, they must be seeing something in the current prices that, that have made them jump in. So what are these indicators? There's a couple things that you're seeing right now that they're showing you. We've got gold is tremendously overbought. Right. And commercial traders, specifically the commercial gold miners, are selling all the forward production they can at the current prices. And that's reflected in the COT report by a new net position 52-week low. Okay. By a new, it's, it's a large hedgers. short position by the hedgers, correct. And also by a, a commercial selling that is more than two standard deviations well, currently below their, their average the, movement. The large specs and the small cats are, are buying right now? That's correct. That's correct. Sounds, uh, like, a, sounds like a fade to me. Well, this is what we, 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 we look for the buildup of pressure, mm -hmm. we wait for the turn, and then we get in using whatever the recent higher low is as our protective stop. It's a mean reversion strategy. And, it, and then you had something on corn, too, you were telling me. Corn is definitely overbought. We saw the, we saw the speculators go from a net short record position at the corn's lows in early late April mm -hmm. uh, to reverse that position bought in almost half a million contracts mm -hmm. in their net position over the following five, six weeks, putting us where we are now at a, at a tremendously overbought position. Commercial traders feel that they could get corn delivered whether they have to buy, beg, borrow, or steal it at the current December prices. All right. Well, thank you, Andy, and thanks everyone for joining us. Thank you, Jeff. My pleasure.